What is going on, guys? Noonan here with MMO Play. We are first look in impressions video into Iliard, a free to play online MMORTS. So, I've just logged into the game and kind of checking out just the different features. There's a nice tutorial that comes along with the game that uh, is really, uh, really well at explaining each key feature of the game. And I suggest if you guys do check out the game to really go over the tutorial and read through it because it, it is extremely helpful. I have found that um, it does a good job explaining a lot of different aspects of the game because there is quite a bit. So just to start off, we have here the world map. So you click on the world map and then it will bring you over to a bunch of different locations that you can see here. I'm kind of just scrolling out. And as you can see, it's just ever expanding it's, it's so big there's so many different areas you can go to and select and travel just to kind of build and um you know upgrade new lands and basically just expand your um your world so there's a lot to this game it doesn't look like it but really there is there's so many different aspects i'm gonna try to go over a few of them just to kind of give you a general overview of the game so next we're gonna go over here to the city map now here's our first city over here. As you can see, we got our castle over here. We have a bunch of empty plots that we can use to uh, build different, um, different, build different locations to upgrade resources or gather different resources and so on. Kind of like your standard uh, MMO RTS. So kind of like classic clans in a way. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on one of these empty lots, and you can see. Um, we have different um, we have different things we can build on them depending on the type of lot that it is. It'll cost different resources, and we can build different things and so on. So let's go ahead and click build a library. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pick which one we want. So we're gonna go ahead and oh, it gives us another little tutorial. So like I said, once you start off in the game, there is a lot of tutorials, and it's pretty much gonna ex break down and explain everything for you, which is really really nice. So let's go ahead and X out of this. We're gonna go ahead and. Let's see, pick this one right here, we'll go ahead, click and buy it, and there we go right there, we have a progress bar, you can see it's slowly loading, but once it fills up, we will have our library uh, there on our map, you can see a little hammer icon going on over here, showing that uh, it is being built, but it will take some time. I do like these kind of RTS styled games, like I said, like kind of like Clash of Clans, because uh, it takes a lot of time and investment, and once you really, really do get a good base going, it feels really rewarding, because you've spent so much time, and it really, really shows. So it's really cool, I enjoy playing these kind of, um, these little games, so let's go ahead and uh, pick another location over here, we're gonna go ahead and build our storehouse, so let's go ahead and click build that. We got our progress bar, and once again, there are more tutorials. As you can see, we got different things over here. So over here, so we can use our storehouse, you can see different uh, different things. So basically, um, there will be a ton of tutorials. It may get annoying for some of you, but like I said, it is extremely helpful, and they do really break down everything extremely well. So let's go ahead and X out of this. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and pick this one. It's going to start building. It'll um, up the build time for our... Um, for our storage house, but I believe first we have to wait for um, we have to wait for our library to finish building in sort of in order for our storehouse to, be st to start building. So, like I said, lots of things in this game will take quite a bit of time, but once you do really get like invested into it and you get things going, it'll feel really rewarding, and you can expand um, different plots and locations uh, on the world map here. So next we can go here. We have our military overview. So basically. Um, the RTS kind of feel where you can start building units, invade other people, um, fight different uh, CPU challenges and stuff like that. So it is really cool. You can um, you can uh, have different uh, actions for different um, military um, or like units that you build. You can have different orders, uh, organize different types of armies and stuff like that, which is awesome. And um, basically, once you get that going, uh, let's see. It shows um, oh, it's pretty cool. It shows little um, it has little um bar graph of how much uh, units we have so you can kind of see and adjust and even out uh the different types of units you're building if you want more of one it'll show you here in this little chart which is really kind of cool i really enjoy how this game really breaks down and uh shows you how everything is going so let's go ahead back and check on our city map you can see everything's still being built right here our library is almost done we have 14 seconds left on that so let's go on and check on a few other things go ahead and check over here our trade overview I'm not really too sure too sure what this is but we can go ahead and check it out let's see do not have any trade units available in this town train trade units marketplace be able to trade okay so it seems like we can trade different things in our town for other things to other players which is seems pretty cool I like that aspect so basically maybe if you uh if you have a really high um 
unit or something like that and somebody else can't get that at the time but they have something that you want maybe you could swap and trade them that's kind of what i'm seeing from this which is a really cool aspect i like that that is pretty awesome to integrate into this um style of mmorts and i feel like that feature could work really really well there could be really good trade-offs and good interactions with other players and stuff like that so let's go ahead back at check back on our city map you can see our library is now built looking pretty spiffy over here we can go ahead and overview it and we can upgrade it and um we can upgrade it so it gives us more uh rewards and stuff like that um it'll give uh more benefits basically the higher you level it up so that's a pretty good thing to um overview and check on in your city to make sure you're upgrading the correct uh plots of areas so they give you the best benefits at the time so you can see now we're gonna go ahead and check here in our storage house and it is making some pretty good progress we have two minutes left on that so we can go ahead and go back and check some other stuff we have over here kind of see what's going on let's go ahead and check this we have our magic overview so probably we can uh we can learn different spells and stuff like that for invasions check over here research overview Let's go ahead and check this. Um, let's see what's available. So let's see. Hmm. So we have different things we can learn. So we have, oh, we can. this is where we can learn our trading. We can learn quests. Uh, militaries, we probably upgrade our military. What we can, uh, what we can build and create through uh, units and stuff like that. Magic and uh, city. So we can upgrade our city and stuff like that too. Which is really cool. There is so much depth to this game. So much you could really do with your city that really playing this game probably would take you hours upon hours and it seems like putting your time in it would be really really rewarding once you get things going i've said it before and i feel like it's true there's so many different aspects of the game and i think it's pretty cool i really like how they break it down how uh they do a good job of really introducing you to all the different aspects of the game because as you can see here there is so much to the game there's so much that you can do and um basically you could pretty much go on with your city and it'll really never end you're always going to be upgrading something or looking for some way to make your town better than somebody else's to basically kind of raise up the ranks and so on but other than that guys that's pretty much it for this video if you've enjoyed don't forget to like favorite and subscribe for more but until next time guys i'll talk to you later